all right so hello guys and um hope you are doing fine i'm i'm actually putting up these videos to help address some of the issues that lots of affiliates are getting so far there's for auto login okay you have to supply your name your username used during registration at the point of registration and then also you supply your password okay it's just like you going for an event and in that event, you have, okay, you'll be told is either your username you chose or your email you use is incorrect or your password is incorrect. So these are unique details to every individual. So Digistem applies this, okay? We ensure that our courses are protected and we do this by letting users or affiliates on our platform to sign up using their email and to choose a password for themselves. So whenever they want to access the content of that course, they will have to log in to have access to it. So basically why you have these issues is that number, you are using a wrong detail, okay? Is either your email you chose at the point of registration is not correct, or your password is not correct, or the both of them are correct. So I'll be addressing these issues and what you basically need to do for you to get back your details. So let us get started now for example this is a typical example of what you'll be seeing whenever you try to log in and you are not granted access first and foremost you are asked to put in your username or your email that is the first field that you are asked to supply the first field says either you input your email address or your username so i chose a user an email address in the first part then the second says choose um type in your password okay you have to put in that same password you used during your student registration and then before you can then proceed to the proof your humanity here okay right before you can then sign in so it therefore means that three conditions have to be checked number one your email or your username will have must be correct number two here your password has to be correct and then number three is this check here prove your humanity we are doing this to ensure that our system is protected so six plus eight is going to give us 14 right and whenever you try to impute either of the details here number one here or number two here you'll be given this pop-up alert that says email or password is incorrect three attempts left before you are logged out before your ip address is flagged off for you to avoid this, please ensure, please, please, please do ensure that you put in your correct details before you could sign in, all right? If you try to input wrong details after four attempts, your system, your IP address will be flagged off and you have to wait for a while or you can then proceed to sign in again, all right? Or you have to contact the admin. So the best way um, for you to do that is for you to use the option. That is why I'm making this video for you to make click this forgot link here so once you click on the forgot link you will get an email containing a link for a password reset right remember you forgotten either your password or your email but before you recover your password you need to impute the right email you used at the point of registration please take note your email is very important and it is unique to you please ensure you have access to your gmail address or your yahoo when you used during the sign up so now you click on forgot password and then but before then i'll be taking you through the practical guide let's get to see what i'm actually talking about here now i'll get over to my screen here and then i'm trying to sign in now as a learner as a student to take the course and i put in and then put in these details to my password and it's telling me that my password or email is incorrect all right now all I have to do now is that at this point, I know I'm at fault. It's none of the admins or the website owners fault, all right? Facebook has built a platform. Let's take for example now Facebook. They've built a platform that everything is aut automatic, is authenticated. But once you come in there, you just supply the details you use at the point of registration, and then you have access. I see lots of persons send emails and the rest that, but like, I, I can't log into my calls. Uh, it's been three days now, it's been two days now, and you see lots of complaint that these are the problems that you can solve yourself without needing the assistance of someone. So first and foremost, what you need to do is to click on forgot here, all right? There's a link that says forgot. Okay, let me zoom it a little bit so you can see. Now click on forgot. 
right so once you click on that forgot another page comes up it says you lost your password please enter your username or email address there are two um options here is either you are using your your username please your username is not your your full name okay you are not here to put in your full name first name last name and your family name here on this place so it says your username the same username you chose during at the point of registration please take note username can contain numbers and the rest so please take note of your username and your email address if you forgot your username ensure you don't forget your email address you so come here and then put in your email address now i've put in my email address it says you will receive a link to create a new password via via email right so i click on reset password so when once i've done that it says you should check your email we've sent an email to this account um, to this email address and there it says click the link in the set your password this is self-explanatory you have to read things up yourself so click on the link to have access right to reset your password if you didn't see the email it says if you didn't see the email i've already covered this section before in our previous video if you've not watched that get back to our channel watch it so you get to know what you are talking about now when it says click on that um you don't need to, if you don't see the email then check other places you must maybe it must have you might it, places it might be like the junks okay you can check the junks we have sections in the gmail or yahoo or whichever email services you are using we have the junks okay the reset password the password link can get to junk get to spam or socials or promotion or any other folders there so you have to go through your emails and then um, you know to get the link once you get the link right so what you basically do is you follow that link up when, once it opens up you now choose a new password for, right i do advise people when you choose the right password now your new password for yourself ensure you save it this is your mobile phone it is your gadget or your laptop you are using save it in your your device save it right when you are trying to log in have save it in your device so that when once you come in next time and log in your details will be saved there right there's no money in that account okay you don't have money in your your e-learning platform there are just courses right so why don't you just save it so that next time you come you won't have complaint of um, password or login related issues so that's basically what i said let me um, cover today right to address most of the issues like affiliates are facing so far and then when once you follow the link please then when once you follow the link choose a password that you in fact you can write it down somewhere okay put it down somewhere so next time you won't you won't forget it then when once you are done you have access to your course and you keep on you know enjoying everything so i i really i believe i've covered um i've been able to see these issues and and then um, i would love to end it here so thank you so much guys and i would like to see you next time